Go on. Okay, so this is day five. Where will we be? Where, ooh, sorry, guys. Where will we? Ooh, I'm going to try one more time. Where we will be focusing on soil in different parts of the world. Holy cow. Sorry about that. I know you're laughing. That's okay. All right. So first we're going to talk about biomes and what is a biome. A biome is a fancy term for classifying a major ecosystem on the earth. So an example would be like desert or rainforest or deciduous forest or temperate. So those big, big ecosystems are called biomes. And a biome is chosen or isolated or defined by the climate and the vegetation of that area. And we know that the vegetation has adapted to what type of soil is in that area. So the biome reflects or shows the adaptations of those organisms to that particular environment. The soil formation and development is very closely associated with the climate, with what the parent material is, and what living organisms are there. So they all influence each other. So the question is, where is the most fertile biome with the most fertile soil? And where is the least fertile biome with the least fertile soil? If you look, I gave you the basic characteristics of the world biomes right here. They range from a tundra, which is extremely cold. The ground is pretty much frozen for three fourths of the whole year. Do you think that soil is really good? Really fertile? Has lots of life grown in it? Probably not. The boreal forest, is like where Canada is and parts of Russia. So it's not as cold as the tundra, but it's certainly not as warm as where you guys are right now. So it has a climate of short summers and harsh winters. A lot of pine tree vegetation, so a lot of coniferous trees. So do you think this fertile has this soil super fertile? Do you think it's not super fertile? It has pine trees, right? And we know those grow really big. So does that soil have to have nutrients in it for that to happen? It does. But do you think we have a huge amount of different living things growing here or just things specifically adapted to survive the cold? I can tell you right now, if you pick me up and throw me in the boreal forest, I'm probably not going to make it. But pine trees do excellent in cold temperatures. Then we have the temperate. This is where you are. This is where we have a lot of deciduous trees or angiosperms like we learned about before. We have precipitation that is pretty consistent, not too much, not too little. So what do you think our soil is like? Would you consider our soil fertile or not fertile? The most fertile or the least fertile? Your hint is what we're called, temperate. Right, temperate biome. Temperate means a little bit of everything, right in the middle, not too much, not too little. So our soils, the same thing, not too much, not too little. It's just fertile enough to have this amount of life present. Then we have the desert, which is called an, a hot and dry climate, has very little water and sandy soils. So do we have a lot of nutrients there? Is it fertile or not fertile? Most fertile or least fertile? Think about it. Think about any picture you've ever seen of the desert. Does it have a ton of life growing out of it? No. What did we learn about the water retention? Can it hold on to a lot of water? No. So it's definitely not fertile. And then the tropical. Tropical is your, your big rainforest. You're humid. You got lots and lots of rain. It's warmer than what we are here, but not by too drastic enough. It can definitely get hot, but it can fluctuate kind of how we do. It has wet and dry seasons. That's what the term monsoon comes into play. But there's lots of living things in this area. So does the soil have to be fertile or not fertile? Think about it. And then I wanted to define another term for you, humid. I know you hear that term floating around a lot. A lot of you may not know what it actually means. Humid means where there's a lot of moisture in the air that's being evaporated and a lot of moisture that's falling currently. That's what it means to be humid. 
That's when you go outside and you can actually feel like you're swimming through the air. That's all that moisture in the air. That's a humid, um, humid atmosphere. All right, here's a pretty picture of the whole entire world showing the different biomes for you. If you look at where we are right here, that matches up with temperate humid. And that makes sense because think about our summers. Woo, terribly humid. So where you live, again, we're emphasizing temperate, temperate, temperate. We have moderate rain, moderate temperatures, moderate deciduous and conifer vegetation. We have both pine trees and angiosperms. All right, everyone go fix your pretest right now. Fix it. Pause this video, fix it. Okay, now that you're done fixing it, now you're going to travel the world. So you're going to open up the activity that I've made, and you're going to travel in the hallway and use the handouts and the different areas to fill out your activities. And you're going to learn about the different soils in different parts of the world. All right. Good job, guys.